Yeah, folks, Quillitine here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Software Inc. Last episode, I left off trying to figure out how I want to organize my staff here for the things we've got going on. And here is what I've done. Um, I have a new team that I've set up that is meant to just work on this deal I've got. And currently has two people assigned to it, both of which who can uh, do all the jobs required. Now, one of those people is Quill. Uh, and then the other, let's go to employees over here is Vanessa. So Vanessa's got the two-star audio, which is needed for some recorded stuff, the two-star system, which I think is needed for the rest. I guess, yeah, we can see what's outstanding. Right now, it's just the systems work that's needed, which are those two over there. So Quill and Vanessa both have two-star systems, so they can go ahead and work on those and keep grinding out uh, the contract work on the gun tricks in Heaven 2, the deal work here. Meanwhile, our design squad has been assigned to just work on this flute neat system here. It will get moved over to our uh, core group later on, uh, or sorry, our, our dev group, no longer called core. And then right now our dev group is theoretically starting on a new patch for Quill's Good Touch, which currently there's just one outstanding bug. So not a whole lot going on there. Um, I think when we do finish this, we're gonna go and start on the next thing. I have no idea what to do with all my money. Get an elevator, start a new st floor. Like we can expand this business like crazy mad right now. but I'm not sure how I would manage it. I guess we could go looking for a superstar designer. We could also go and build a proper sort of dedicated HR group. Like Quill's doing some HR stuff during the day right now, which is fine, but we might want some automated HR stuff like uh, for the, to handle the evening and night shifts or move everyone to during the day. But this, this multitasking is kind of useful, I think. I don't know. Baby Killer 3. I'm assuming that's a baby that kills people. Not the other way around, because that seems not great. I have gone ahead, actually, and also hired a regular cleaning uh, person. So uh, every morning, we're going to have someone come in and clean the office, so I don't have to worry about micromanaging that side of things. Okay, one bug fix. Done. We might be ready to move this uh, sport crew off. You guys don't have anything to do currently. Yeah, that's our development team. I'm sorry I don't have anything to keep you busy at the moment from this bug fix would be more. I mean, I guess I could take a development based deal, but I don't want to. I kind of want to do my own thing here, which means some of these guys might be a little bit idle until we finish something else. Um, yeah, mostly until we finish the design over here. OK, I'm going to accept all the pay changes here. Keep everyone happy for now. We didn't make any money. Yeah, I don't think we're making any more sales. I'm sorry. Why do we pay a million bucks in maintenance? How do we get a million bucks in maintenance? Oh, you are really cranky. How come there's no lights in your office? Well, that's a sprinkler. Wait, you don't have a light? First of all, my bad. Like I'm sitting in darkness. I'm so unhappy. Oh, you also dislike a team member? Um. Okay. A lot of people do have that. Who's... Okay, you're on team support night. So let's go to teams, support evenings. Take a look at these two employees. So I'm guessing this team has low compatibility. You're at 108%. It feels like you should be compatible. Check the employee detail window to find out who is causing trouble. I guess it's here. Compatibility is 71%. It doesn't look like you guys hate each other. Wait, am I looking at the wrong person? I'm looking at the wrong people here. Is it you? You hate someone. You're on support night. Did I not look at support night? No, I didn't.
I went support evening. That's the problem. Okay. So if we look at these guys. Well, is it coal? I'm still kind of confused. Support night. Yeah, only 71% compatibility. I guess it's not great. Can I open your details? Can I have them both open at the same time? You know, you both dislike each other. All right, so I'm gonna fire one of you. We don't need this many support people. I'm gonna fire the hypochondriac here. Boom. You've been fired. In fact, we might just shut down a bunch of these support things, but, or just leave one person per shift now. That's a possibility. Okay. Oh. Income from my team completely worn out. Oh, those are your complaints. It's a little income. I might ignore you for now. Because I actually did deal with it by getting rid of the person theoretically you've got. Yeah, you filed a complaint officially. Wow. Okay. I know our night night dev team really isn't doing anything right now. I mean that most of the time we're actually worried about the time passing, not so much the inefficient of money. We do need some more development. No bugs to do. Any chance we can do a feature update? No. Oh, you've got nothing you can do. Hold on. Well, tell you what, let's over on this design here. Although I suspect a lot of it won't work. Let me assign the development people to this. Some of them might have some design. It looks like the answer is no. I don't just have a busy, like a just busy work for development. Unless I take a deal for it, which I don't want to do because I want to start my own project. You know what? If I don't care about my rep, let's just move this to development. That's going to have to do. And so now. Dev, dev, dev. And then for here, I'll assign my, um, my design squads to it. Although I suspect they won't actually be able to do a lot of this work. Yeah, they just don't have the XP and that's too many people on it. Keeps the programmers busy. But now, okay, actually, here's what we can do. Hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. Clear this, just the deal one group. And I think Quill here. Quill's gonna move off of the deals. He's gonna move to the daytime design. And the reason is I want to go and start making my own thing. So this will keep our designers busy. Quill's going to be moving over there as the main developer. That's going to be good. So I don't think there's a reason for us to go and make a sequel to our 2D editor, right? Because we could, right? We can make version two over here. But it's going to have exactly the same features last time. The technology level hasn't changed. And I mean, maybe doing this would be a sales refresh, but it feels like it's exactly the same as what we already put out and therefore seems fairly pointless. We don't really have the audio expertise. That wasn't what we were working on. Although we probably have enough people with one pip of audio tech, we could go and make an audio tool. And the reason for it is then we could go and make a game with our own 2D editor and our own 2D, our own audio tool, because that's kind of cool. And I propose we don't get a publisher this time. Audio tool, default category. Um, let's figure out what kind of thing we're gonna work on. This, this auto selects um, one or two operating systems, if it makes sense. Oh, we use a 2D editor for this. Well, I mean, we gotta eat our own dog food, as they say. So yeah, we'll use Quill's Good Touch. Recommended program. We have too many programmers right now, but we haven't enabled any features yet. So hold on a sec. Let's take a look at the market. Okay, right now there's a big demand for compo uh, composing. What does that? Um, so we could hyper focus on that first. So let's let's look at those. Anything that really is composing oriented. So thin sizer presets, sound banks. These are two star features. Mini input device. Okay, we're gonna try to stick to one stars. Okay, there's a little bit of composing that goes on in here. I think.
think. Oh, and amp simulation. If we do this. We do have 10% wasted interest. If I pull back on this and auto balance. No, okay, we'll do this. We'll do a little bit more work than we have to, but expected interest is 100%. Heavily focused on composing because that is where we've um, uh, identified a market weakness or, or, yeah, sort of gap. I'm not going to get a publisher. We don't need, need anyone with two star skills, which is going to make it a lot easier to develop. What do we call our product? Will's left ear. There you go. We'll pair it with a right ear product later on. We got our server bank price. We could develop it as a purely in-house tool to, you know, not allow any other people to use it, but there's no reason to do that. And eventually we'll do some automated like project management stuff. I don't think there's any reason to do this. Oh, Roko Ross would be the lead designer. That's interesting. Is it because Quill's no Quill is on one of these teams. He's been moved to, um, he's been moved to our design team. Design day. Hmm. Huh. In theory, Rocco is potentially more creative than Quill. We know Quill's creativity is 50%. Rocco's is something between 63% and 100%. And his skill is specifically. Well, his audio tool tool is max. His skill is maxed out. Oh, I didn't even realize that was a thing. Okay. No, that works out lovely. Very complex, take a long time to develop without. Okay, hold on a second. The recommended here, two years, two years doesn't seem so bad. We've got more programmers currently than needed. We could go and pull some people off the dev team. Um, you know, just trim those numbers down a bit because this is a little too much. Or what we do, it'd be great to do some bug fixes, but yeah, they're just not coming in. I think that's the I think the maintenance period, the support period for <coughs> Quill's good touch is basically passed. I still want to keep the lines open though, keep our customers happy. Because why not? Customer reach, 2 million potential buyers, because that's the operating system stuff. No, I think this is okay. But yeah, we might want to add one extra designer. So if we look at our crew here, Organized by do deals or by um, um, teams. Doing design day, work on deal one. Oh, Millard here had been moved to the dev team. I'm going to change you. You're actually going to be on the daytime design team, please. Yeah. So now we've got four designers working on this project, which is what we're looking on, looking for, which is good. Developers are still going to be kind of idle. Is there any chance we want to fire some of them? I mean, in theory, we've picked up a bunch of good ones. Rita's been with us for a long time. She doesn't have big brain. Although she is a pretty good um, programmer. She could even join in on some of the design side of things with the two star here. Right, but right now we do have some design or some development which is happening. So I guess that's gonna have to be okay. Start working on Quill's left ear. And yeah, what I often wanna do when I wanna go to this details thing, sort of on autopilot and I see the D over here, I click on that and there's no confirmation, which is so annoying. This is our cleaner. Okay, she's only here for four hours. It's nearly the end of her shift. That's fine. Keep things clean without us worrying about it. I don't actually, you know what? I think we can probably get rid of our receptionist now. Um, which is here. So we're gonna go and dismiss Mason Price, our receptionist. Did it. Got it, okay. Other teams are occupying their office. I think it's because I did a team swap and people haven't updated yet. Uh, you on dev design yeah see uh millard over here i guess i could send some of these people home early which would give them some rest on days where they're idle yeah you gotta move over here which will happen it might happen after you take your lunch break 
You know what? They'll they'll deal with it. It'll fix itself tomorrow, and I'm not gonna be too concerned anymore. File the formal complaint. Oh, that's over here. You're uncomfortable on your team. Um, you know what we're gonna do? Listen, Mindy. Is that who's selected? No, it's got a room. Um they're like, I'll just fire you. How do I go to you right now? That's actually quite annoying. Possible you're not at work. Mindy, daytime support. I'm gonna let you go. You complain, you leave. And then the other day person was also complaining. Mindy was complaining, and Shelby. I'm gonna ignore this. You should be fine here. I'll ignore this as well. We fired the other person in here, and actually, um, our evening support team, I'm gonna get rid of one of you two as well. Jody, I'm gonna fire you. There. So we just have one support working each shift right now. We got a few things in the queue. There's a good chance that there's those are not new bugs. Although if I do have the opportunity to do a um, a technology update, I would love that. But we'll have to wait for some things to trickle down. Now, I don't have enough people. We could go and hire a ginormous crew because it takes so many people to start working on a tech. Like here, it says require 13 level three system designers. It does give us access to new tech early and then other people who use it would also pay us royalties, which is good. But good God, what an investment. Now I'm gonna wait to go and issue our release date for Quill's left ear. Yeah, I'm hoping this cleans itself up after the shift cycle here. We're going to give it a day and then take a look at the unhappy people again. And see what we can do. We certainly haven't found a new bug. Oh, this is 100% passed, so we'll promote this. To beta fixing. I do have a ton of money for, for shares as well. I don't know if there's an easier way to quickly find people I might be interested in purchasing shares for. We got a brand new company over here. Oh, not publicly listed yet. Okay. Oh, it's seven million bucks. Okay, yeah, let's not do that one. I don't know if there's a quick way to close all windows. So here again, we might do three or might do four passes. Ideally, I think I'd like to do four full passes. Get that golden bar filled up on the design over here. Spending some time. Oh, it's due this this month. Okay, which is, yeah, just started. Because we're running 24 seven, it's gonna be a lot easier for me to like miss out on these things. I think this is one where we didn't do as much design as I would like to do. So if we can go and grind out a bunch of these. Okay, we have one unhappy person. Why are you unhappy these days? You dislike a team member. Aren't you alone on your team now, Shelby Dixon? On your daytime support? I think you are alone. Support day, yeah. So I guess this does linger for a little while. This will go away at some point. It's the only thing bringing down your satisfaction. I don't really care about your effectiveness right now. In fact, we could we could get rid of you. Grind, grind, grind. There's a ton of bugs over here. Just gonna make sure to ship it by end of day. And then yeah, the development team will be idle. But so be it. Okay, watching this. So again, when this hits 23. Right around there. Ship this so it's not late. Inadequate quality, yeah. It's because we didn't do enough design side of things. They're about to go home for the day. First iteration is done here. Er, yeah, uh, design work. No, I wanted a deals tutorial. Um, There's no bouton for deals here. We only have one designer working on this, but in theory, this is profitable? Question mark? Unless we have to do the entire development, maybe here, oh, hold on. Is it possible 
with this deal, what's actually going on, and I'm sorry, people probably left a message about this in the last video or two, but um, I'm recording uh, a few episodes today. Because some deals start with development, which presumably the game's already been designed. But some of these start at design. I wonder if we then have to go through the trouble of developing it ourselves. Requirements designer. It doesn't actually list, this is an example, doesn't list anything for here for, for, um, you know, need for development. Shelby Dis um, Dixon's still unhappy with her job. I'm hoping it resets later on. Yeah, we haven't gotten a bug report in forever. I think we can probably cancel this support job. Maybe we just let all of our support people go for now. Oh, anyway, I'll leave, um, I'll just leave the uh, one person on day shift going on. So support night and evening you guys are going to both be let go we'll leave the daytime person and that's it why don't you two go home early Yeah, we are getting some queued requests, but they're not leading to bugs. They're just people uh, probably with help questions. And that's it. So which means we didn't even need someone with a star in support anymore. Uh, if we take a look at Shelby, like you've got the star in support. If any of these were a bug, you would have listed it. But yeah, presumably you're just answering help questions. So I guess we're going to want to continue support, but we really don't need as much. And yeah, the entire dev team is idle. Pick up a development contract on the side to work them, but I really don't want to do that. And I don't want to distract the uh, the design team. I could, um, for now, I guess the dev will do this. You might not quite be able to do it because you might not have stars, but yeah, it'll keep you a little bit busy for now. And I guess that's going to be it. So you're going to help out with some of these tasks. Well, actually, right now, the only thing being developed is the audio and the interface. And neither one of them needs a star rating. Okay. That's our evening crew coming in and helping out with that. All right. That's going to be good. It might still not help every single one of our developers. But some people, well, no, because as long as there's some no star jobs, someone's going to be able to do something. And that's going to be good. Boys on vacation. Sure. You know what? They issue more of this, which isn't worth much. We'll just go ahead and keep buying it. That's going to be fine. Um, my bonds over here, accrued interest. So yeah, when this gets to 20 grand, I will, I guess, withdraw? Or maybe as soon as it hits 20, I'll get the achievement for it. That might be the way it works. Yeah, we have one whole person working on this. I'm assuming it can still go through multiple iterations. It's going to turn out we have to do the development for it afterwards and it'll be like, oh my god, we haven't done this right. Okay, the cleaning's have ending very quickly. It's a thousand per day regardless of how long they stick around, though, as what I feel. But at least, yeah, we don't have to micromanage you. I might go and get a second table and chairs here. Nothing, yeah, see, Quill wants to hold a meeting, like, there might have been some stuff, some spaces occupied, more people can take their lunch simultaneously. Okay, so yeah, right, uh, right here, Quill's left ear, we're just waiting on this MIDI input device, which needs a two-star audio designer, which currently we don't have one in the house. So they're going to be idle. The night shift's going to be idle. We could just send them early. Go home. Keep up your energy for the next day. You're still getting paid. And the queue is getting bigger, and we did find another bug, actually. Tell you what. Oh, and we can upgrade this 2D. So we're going to do that. The teams are going to be purely the dev team. Yep, that's good. Okay, start updating. So you guys now have some programming work that you can do. That's good. And the fact that we did get the tech update is going to be nice for it as well. Keep our product relevant. Uh, I wonder if we are going to be able to go through this entire queue during the day. This is occurring a little faster than I thought, I think. Oh, you guys, you seriously don't have the star rating in development? 
No, programming, you have one star in everything. Oh, we need art. Yeah, and we don't have a dedicated artist on the team. I suppose... Yeah, we'll go low. I'm going to feel 42%. Turnover rate, mass layoffs. Ooh. Okay. I didn't realize that was something we we're going to have to worry about. Um, daytime dev. Good compatibility. Okay. I mean, you only come in tomorrow, but that's all right. So these are both entering their second iteration, which is going to have to be fine. They're helping on the development, so they're still staying busy. Even though they're not finishing this, um, this patch. Okay, we did burn through a bunch of the queue, so that's good. We haven't missed a single support ticket. That also makes me very happy. I think if they sit in a queue for two days, I think it goes to a missed state, which isn't great for, you know, your company's reputation or whatnot. Keep working on this. Well, you're not working on this right now, but that's going to have to be okay. Again, we'll have the artist come in tomorrow, so that's going to be fine too. No real complaints. Oh, we do have some education available. Which we're gonna, you know, we're gonna work on here. Um, well, we're actively working on an audio program, although we don't need a second pip of audio. None of our jobs actually need it. So it's mostly what might I think we might need the second pip for in the near future, and or want a third pip for speed. I'll get the second pip on audio. I think, as much as I'd like the system speed or maybe the audio, I'm going to get the U1 pip in 2D just to make sure you can work on a few more of these projects. That first pip is very, very helpful. And over here, we'll just go second star in systems. That should be hopefully okay. Okay, new patch for Quill's good touch is done. Process this support queue. We did find one other bug. And yeah, we are answering these fast enough with just one person, which is really nice to see. I mean, money's still coming in good. I really do think... I mean, we're going to... Oh, it's probably time to start working on our um, marketing squad. So I want to build a second level of our building. Let's say occupied. Over here. It's not occupied, but I can't build it. Do I... I wonder if I have to do building over here first. So, if we've done that... Aha! I think this is a fine spot for the stairs. There we go. So you come in through here. Great. This, I wonder if I just built things here, if it would go higher up. Oh, it just got rid of the AC completely. All right, well that, no, 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 stay paused. Let's say, yeah, we need the ventilation. I know. So I wanna go here, functions, temperature, roof AC. Oh, it has to be on our highest floor. I guess that's fair. I was hoping it would just keep venting higher and higher up. Might get a little loud over there. Actually, oh, hold on. I'm going to put the door here. And uh, then... Pick this door, delete it. Let's see, we could put a little bathroom over there. But we might want the bathroom a little bit more centralized. 
so we could do a big open concept thing, but I think we will need separate rooms for some of our teams. I was thinking of like a four person marketing team. Maybe over here. What if we take this desk? Do this. Like so. I like the glass door still. And then we'll also you know, do a double window here. That looks nice. Done, done, done. Yeah, we'll have to hit the auto ventilation system. That's fine. We'll give you an overhead light. That's, I guess this right here would be in the middle. So we'll do that. Oh, we might want a sprinkler as well. Then you know what? I will move this light, leave it on the grid. We'll put you there and then... So the sprinklers aren't in this list. So the, the way to find them would always be to go to function and then security and then sprinkler. Seems a little annoying to me. Maybe there's a better way to find it, but I don't know. We're going to keep going with these ergonomic chairs because we're good to our employees. All right, we do get the couches and stuff. We could build a fun little lounge. Um, oh, you need a bookshelf. Ooh, are we going to have room for that? Because it won't fit. Oh, it will fit there. Oh, well, shoot. It's really easy to fit quite a lot of stuff in here. And then decoration. Done, done. What are you complaining about? Oh, not accessible. Oh, yeah, we don't have a door over here. I suppose I could just get rid of this wall for now, but let's just throw a door in here. So you're now accessible. Good. If I click on this, auto buy, done. And down a level. And auto buy. Oh, are you fine? No, but there's probably no room for the heater. I'll tell you what, if I go here and function and then temperature and I'll put in a heating floor grid, which presumably could probably be anywhere. There, right there. there we go. Now you're good. OK, I think it wants to place the regular radiators by default and there was no room in here indeed for a radiator. That's fair. And quilling style, that's going to be OK, too. I suppose we can have all the rooms. Kind of quilling for now. I know that's not accessible. Again, we'll, we'll put in a dummy door. Which might be a problem for like fire control right now, but. Okay, so this is going to be for a marketing team. Oh, which means I want to take a look. I don't know if there's a productivity booster. That's utility. For marketing. Marketing's under service, I think. So probably that inbox. Or the phone. Huge. That makes sense for marketing. Done, done, done. Now we need some employees for it. Service. Oriented on marketing. Yeah, the applicant appeal is still low, but deal with it. Oh. Um, and before I complete this, let's make a team. Market day. I don't have to hit OK on the screen, right? OK, some of them when you X out, it doesn't keep your changes. So. Service, marketing, low salary, probably fine. Begin looking. So we only found two that meet the requirements of a uh, fast learner and either capacitor or the other one, which I could go and lift. But I don't know. I think I like this idea. And we want them to have at least the one pip in marketing because that's their job here. Which means they'll only be able to do the paper press release, not with any photos. Okay, I'm going to hire both of these. I'm going to do a different search with medium. Oh, I don't think 
think I sent those last people. Yeah, I didn't send them the right thing, which is a bit annoying. Um, those. Grab you. Uh, I think it's these two here. Yeah. You two. Change team. Marketing daytime. And you, I guess I could just set this to all. Yeah, you were an artist. Actually, you are supposed to be on the dev team. That's great. Although, change roles, focus on art. I guess if you don't have any art to do, maybe you can dabble in programming. Whereas all these folks over here are definitely going to go into a pure service role. Uh... Okay, but they're not signs of support, which is good, because right now all they do is answer emails but not actually fix any problems. So what I'm going to do for Quill's left ear, we are going to announce a release date. Where is that? Figured two years to develop. This seems really far away. We did get a warning about it, but the last time we closed that out, it still said two years. I'm going to do this. July of 87. Two years, nine months. Where we've got part of the des design group done, and we're going to try to run multiple ships. So I think that's going to be okay. And we're going to work on our text press release here. Press release will be more effective the more you have to show off. Wait a bit in design or development phase. Okay, maybe we will do one during the design phase. I mean, I hired my marketing, although they're not here today. So maybe when they arrive tomorrow, we'll go and do that. We've got one iteration. We will have stuff to talk about. We've got at least a rough cut of what we want our product to be. Some walls. Who are you? You're my artist, and there's no artist stuff to do currently. That is true. An update, there's no tech boost. There was a little bit, and there will be again. But yeah, not right now. A lot of people about to jump in the bus. I think what's gonna happen too is when we start developing Quill's left ear, I think we're gonna start doing a design immediately. Maybe then it'll be the great time to start designing the next a version of our 2D tool. Because then what we can do is then we can cycle the game design, probably using version one of our, our 2D tool, then our audio tool. More shares. I mean, I got all this money. Why not? How are my bonds doing? Okay, 18 grand accrued interest. There's more to clean. Oh, what we haven't done in a while is let's call IT support, get all our computers fixed up. It'll be a one-time job. Oh, actually one's on fire. Hey, look at that. I, I don't know if it already was or if it just happened after I called it in, but I wanted all the computers looked at and maintained because it has been a while. Although we did just buy a bunch of these computers, right? Since moving in here. Concentrating. Other teams are occupying their office. Wait, really? Um. Dev day, evening, night. Oh, I don't think. Hang on. I never assigned this room here to the marketing team. So they were just working wherever. There you go. Now they'll go over there. It might not change today. They might not move immediately. But yeah, I forgot to assign the room to the actual dev team. You over here, designer who is idle. I mean, we've got design work. Oh, you're on deal group one. Oh, but you don't have... You guys got to get out of here. Okay, you don't have anything to do. Let me send you home. And then her design group will be able to go here. It was the end of the day anyway, so I guess it didn't matter. Oh, more computers broke down. That's a little frustrating. Maybe the person couldn't get there in time. Millard. Designer. I don't... Okay, R does... Our quill's left ear doesn't have any two-star audio stuff at all. I 
Let me know systems for you. Our poor developers with nothing to do. Is there a really short term development project? Is this just what the month is? If I do this, March, is this really going to be just like an eight month? I go dev. Oh, I guess I have to remember to hit like none first. Oh, it is short term. Okay. All right. So our developer is going to have work to do now for five months. That actually sounds great. All right, I think I've finally clued in on a couple of things with the um, these projects. I still don't know how many people we should throw on there because it doesn't feel like we're getting paid per employee. But at least it's giving them some busy work that might train. Oh, what did we just finish? Got a reward for. Oh, we got a 20,000 from stocks and bonds. What does this give me? I realize I never put a sign on the outside of my building. Uh, I'm sorry, a money tree? This is The Sims. One of these... On our awards. Um, is there a category? I mean, there's decoration. Yeah, there we go. Fill ink. Place it against a wall. Well, I'm trying. Oh! Oh, sweet. I could have centered it, but I want to put the logo. We got a choice, it's just the one logo. Right, I guess we did that when we started the game. We must be able to change our logo whenever we want. I guess I can, right, I can remember I can hold Alt. That's not bad. Uh, so I mean, I can look at my own company. Get details. Can I change my logo? Oh, I can't. Wait. Oh, dang. Well, this is beyond me. I'm not going to be able to make a cool looking logo. Although I have to admit, I really don't like the one we've got now. What? Oh, subtract mirror. Oh, we're doing Boolean operations for the editing. And then there's the advanced editor <gasps> with a graph. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, well, and I don't think I want to do it right now. Oops, I'll go into the basement. Yeah, you're, I think you're the slow eater, which is what's going on there. He's being processed. Oh, there are a few more bugs that we can, uh, we can tackle. So this should still be set to the dev teams, which is great. We got the server. Yeah, let's do a little bug fix for Quill's good touch, version 1.3.1. And good get, get that good rep, although it's the 2D thing. It wants a two full hearts 2D editor rep, which probably means we should do another one. I think... And yeah, no, I think that's what we're going to do. After we're done designing Quill's left ear, we're going to work on the next Quill 2D tool. There we go. We'll ship this bug fix. Lovely. Oh, yeah. And so we had this idle marketing squad. Right. And I think I said I was going to start this. So let's start this tomorrow. Start working on our press release. I'm not seeing the idlers because of that. I guess there's this number over here we gotta keep an eye on. Uh, education. This has got one. You over here. Um. I mean, we are admittedly we're doing some two, some audio work. You know what? Let's go to three star audio. We'll speed up our design phase. And Ethel as a programmer. None of the work needs the two, the level two. So we've got flexibility over here. But let's go and get you to specialize on audio things. Maybe we can get the level three just for the speed boost. 
All right, I'm gonna accept all the pay rises. Those are four grand a month. I mean, we've got 10 million bucks right now. So, I'm guessing. Wow, we're ma still making two millions in sales on Quill's Good Touch. Wow. Oh, inventory. What broke? Oh, the lamp. Not the computer, it's the lamp. All maintenance. And again, at some point we might have this all in-house, but I, I think it would be overkill right now to have an in-house maintenance. I don't even think we need the in-house IT. Although maybe I'm wrong about that. So daytime starts. Our market people will start to show up and start working on this press release. We'll do one now. We'll do another one. I mean, this, um, theoretically, actually, I don't think this is going to do much because we don't have much market recognition in this field. So I don't think it's actually going to lead to many followers, but we're going to go through the process anyway. Was left ears now in its third iteration. And yeah, we announced a release date of July 87. So in theory, we've got plenty of time for it. And yeah, we'll probably hire some extra programmers once we go into the next phase. Uh, we have 2 million doing tax and three months to file a report or pay. Okay. Let's figure out. I think that's a support task. Accounting. Let's get ourselves an accountant. A medium skilled accountant. I guess I'll probably want a team for that. Let's. Accounting. Probably just the one right now. Um, HR management. So, yeah, wages, complaints. If we have HR, can do it. That's fine. Best roles, fine. Begin looking. Um, you are in accounting. There you go, two pips. So write tax reports. You can also optimize your taxes. I think that's fine. Oh, that's not actually... Oh, this is Jefferson. Yeah, okay. Over here, cup holder, big brain, hypochondriac. Totally fine. The old soul means you generate more dirt, but that, that's, I don't think, a big deal. Okay, congratulations, Jefferson Valentine. You are going to be hired. We will need an office space for you. I'm wondering. I mean, I'm sure our accounting team is going to have to get bigger and bigger. You'll spend tree. Another way to invest your money. Hey, can you literally... Is it like The Sims where we can then go and pick some money off it later? It's nuts. Uh, you know what I'm going to do right here? So, build mode, walls, three by three. Willink style is going to be fine still. We'll get you a sliding glass door and a window right there. And get you a nice desk. Maybe you want to look out the window. Otherwise, you get monitor glare. Maybe I'll put you here. There you go. So you can look to the left of the window. That's going to be nice. <laughs> Old computer still all we got. You're going to get the ergonomic chair. Congratulations. Right. We'll need the ventilation. Um, auto. Down a level. Up with the walls. Auto that. Good. Bring you up hide these walls so I can see what I'm doing. Now, which one of these productivity tools is the most useful? I would think calculator. Oh, we should give you a bookshelf. Your very own bookshelf. Calculator. We're looking at the service quality. Oh, the inbox. Done. And then this room. Oh, we'll want a light for you. Actually, we can do the floor light, which does boost environment. There we are. Oh, it's nice and warm. And we'll give you a plant as well. There we go. 175 is pretty good. Skill, mood, all groovy. So then this room, we want to assign it to accounting. 
good. And then our, what used to be our core team, which I think is Dev Day, I think had. Oh. Oh, OK, so that can pull people off these tasks this way. I'm just going to take accounting off of Dev Day. And then over here, just enable accounting. For you. It's one of the things I could do is I could put Quill in his own group. And put give him a private office and then just enable all task forms since he can kind of do everything. We'll do that. So now we have someone working on accounting. Also, oh, Quill's got a level up. Really? Oh, 3D's now a thing. Network's a thing. Oh, right, because it's 1985. Oh, right, and he had the points left because he's the master programmer. Um done. We'll give him a little network first. That's gonna be okay. Yeah, if we get Quill a private office, we could just give him literally every single task. Now, I don't know if it'd be too much um, multitasking. So research two new things unlocked, although it doesn't really highlight it, but it's and it's ancient. It's like basic level 3D technically exists. People are going to have to do some work here. We could go and try to be first to market on 3D stuff. Or network stuff. OK, Lurkle Biz is starting to work on it. We have tons of money. What if we tried to be first to market with 3D? If we got 10, they need level three 3D designers, which actually I'm not even sure we could find. We could train ourselves up by doing a 3D project. Stuff that needs 3D work, but not very highly demanding in stars and use that as a way to train our, our squads up. I don't know. I mean, maybe maybe um, 3D designers are now going to start to hit the market. I don't know if there's another way to do a training project. Like what's interesting to me, right? Let's say we want to make a game. 3D graphics, you know, we don't have the, the designer at all in the first place. Like, I, there's no way to add a zero star job to our custom project. Everything's got at least one star for this. Well, I think there's some implied stuff. I think there's some basic systems work and there's a, some basic operating system work that are zero star jobs for some of these. Like if we look at Quill's left ear here, there you go. Operating support, interface, system, and audio. These are implied level zero. I don't know if you can have an implied level zero 3D. Anyway, I just realized we're 52 minutes into this episode. I definitely have to put in a cut. We're growing quickly. I still have more money than I know what to do with. I mean, I guess that's a good problem to have. <laughs> but sure. Publish Studio 8. Yeah, we're still working on the code over here. Two months left. I think it's going to get there just fine. Oh, I don't know. We might have to do bug fixing for this as well. Okay, we'll keep an eye on that. Working on writing our press release for Quill's left ear. Yes. We're on top of the education as they come in. No one is idle. Well, it's nighttime, so there's not very many people in the office anyway. Okay, I know. It's good. Folks, thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to see you next time. Bye-bye.